G'day friends, welcome to today's video about the orange grab bags. I believe it's orange grab bag number four, but I could be mistaken, I don't know. This is all the stuff in it this time anyway. And uh, I'm just gonna run through some of the ways I like to color, some of the ways I like to use them, some things that I was thinking might, they might be good for, <laughs> just some random stuff. Uh, I got a new grid book too. I um, This is from Jet Pens and it's like one of the popular like new ones it's a grid book and I, I don't know the brand or anything but I will say I'm still into the carton supply one I think it's called carton supply the one from Michaels that I was using in another video uh, yeah I'm, I'm really into that one still this one is like it's just really thin and the Copic marker went through like 900 pages of it so uh, <laughs> I'm just not super into this new one I think it'd be great for writing it's, it's smooth and it's, it's nice it's kind of thin too I don't know it just for me it was like yeah not my favorite new thing. Uh, I got some Copic markers here. This is a cute little tag that I made for the orange bag. Uh, if you remember the Doodle Squad digi stamp, and it's also the cover of my book, All Those Faces. In the journal that I did that, I did that in my Large Dilutions journal years ago. The page next to that is actually this this illustration, and it's a full page. I've just cut off a section of it. It's a full page of this this type of face, and uh, and yeah, they, I mean they look quite fun next to each other in the journal. But I thought I'd make a cute tag with this, and uh, <laughs> it could be like a little coloring tag. Uh, I guess I should explain this. A lot of people have been asking, um, what's the difference between the orange bag stuff and the collage sheets? For me, the collage sheets are printable, so they're super convenient. Anyone across the world can get them. They're, um, you know, obviously you can print them out as many times as you want on any kind of cardstock you want, any kind of papers you want, and, uh, you know, fiddle with the sizes and all that stuff. Uh, so that's that's the print tool, those are the collage sheets. And the orange grab bag is obviously a physical product, so I, I manufacture the papers and stuff. Sorry, the, um, the camera cut out there. <laughs> um, and everything in the collage sheets, the printables, are kind of finished pieces of work, like full color and, you know, ready just to cut out and stick in as, as, a, as an ephemera piece. And these uh, orange grab bag stuff is more unfinished, more sketches, more, uh, you know, things that you can color in or colorize in your own way, things that are, um, and some of them is very finished, but they're still black and white, so you can color them in, you know what I mean? Uh, they're more uh, jumping off points, and the collage pieces are more finished points. <laughs> I don't know how to say that any better. Um, anyway, so that's that's the main difference between them. I was thinking about making an orange grab bag printable version. I've got a super secret um, it's not even super secret. I am actually working. This is my uh, 27th, my 27th. This is, I my. oh my goodness, I cannot speak. Uh, it's my golden birthday this year. So I'm turning 27 on the 27th of July. So what I've decided to do was make a printable orange grab bag slash collage sheet pack of 27 different James Lee Beck Creative uh, illustrations and, uh, you know, finished journal pages, all that good stuff. And uh, there's 27 that's going to be available for a special, uh, you know, special birthday treat from me, <laughs> from my golden birthday. I wanted to make that available and I wanted to put a bunch of stuff in there that was all some of my favorite things that I've done, some of the favorite things I like to use over and over again, or, uh, you know, just bits and pieces, 27 bits and pieces for my golden birthday. So that'll be coming out soon. I've almost finished putting it all together, but you know, as is, as is everything with this one man operation, it, uh, it can take a little longer than expected sometimes. Let me talk about some of the coloring techniques I use here. If I want to do something super quick, I like doing a wet on wet alcohol marker trick, you know, to get a gradient, a nice smooth gradient. This isn't the smoothest gradient, I'll admit. I was doing this, uh, you know, kind of haphazardly, but uh, yeah, I, I'll do a smooth gradient over it and then it's just instantly colorized and I, I enjoy that technique. If I don't want to sit down and color in for hours and hours and hours because sometimes I don't have the time or sometimes I just, I prefer this, you know, <laughs> it's fun. Uh, I will say this page that I'm doing here just didn't come together at all. There's no thread that pulls it together. Um, I, I wrote, but first coffee because she's a part of that, um, the coffee and tea girls series that I did like a million years ago. And uh, I used the bubble tea head from the, it was a little circle punch in the last orange grab bag. And people were like, bring that back. Like, where is, where are these? Uh, and you can actually see the previews of them in my book. There's four of them that I did before I decided to get over it. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't over it, but they were very, 
very involved. So I was like, four is good. Four is a collection. Uh, so yeah, I, I decided to bring back the, um, the basic white girl, pumpkin spice latte girl. <laughs> so, um, she's there. I love that one. It's just so funny to me. It's just a parody of all the, um, all the basic white girl stuff. And then I got my Starbucks in the shop because I was basic. <laughs> uh, here's the guy that I colored in. I put a guy in this pack because a lot of people just, you know, get... They want guys. They want guys for all the whimsical girls that they got in their journal. So I thought, let me put a guy in there. I just did a collage sheet of all guys. I called it the blokes collage sheet. So if you're looking for that, head over to Etsy. Uh, this video is mostly about me plugging my Etsy store, but I mean, which video isn't? So <laughs> head over there. Just check it out. Check it out if you want to. If you're uh, sick of my Instagram feed or the YouTube, just go and get inspiration from my Etsy store because... You know, that's where all the good stuff is. <laughs> or all the things that I like to play with are in the Etsy store. I like to share those uh, jumping off points with everybody. I love this little circle punch. This was actually printed on craft paper. So it's a great way to get out, you know, your, your golds, your white, white pencils are great for craft paper. Give her a little body, extend her antlers up into the page, you know, just do some fun stuff with it. As with anything in these orange grab bags, by all means, take photocopies of it if you're afraid to use it and ruin it. Um, I mean, I don't think you can ruin them because, you know, Art is subjective, so <laughs> if you tell me it's not ruined, then it couldn't actually be ruined. Uh, but yeah, the uh, did that make sense? Probably not. I don't care. Uh, but get your white pencils out and shade over the craft paper. Uh, I've got this ivory uh, polychromos pencil. I love the Faber Castell pencils. Then I accidentally gave her some red eyeshadow, which made her look evil. So uh, I kind of ruined that. I love how I just said you can't ruin it, and I totally ruined it. <laughs> I mean, it's not ruined. She's just got pink eye. This is the Bianca one that I just decided to, uh, you know, pull out some of those those outlines and journal over the cat body part. Uh, I just wanted to show you that you can use a bunch of different mediums. This is the Tim Holtz Distress Stain, all those blues. You know, I didn't color that in in any type of, you know, nice way, but just bringing the lines out with the white pen, it's an interesting look. I like to uh, sometimes just color in a way that is so messy and so uh, not planned out and then pull everything back together with a jelly roll or, you know, a, a gel pen or something. Because I think you can always save something. Uh, and yeah, I just wanted to show you that this cardstock can take a little bit of a beating. I will say if you just saturate it, um, you risk reactivating some of that ink. But the actual card, the cardstock itself, it's not, it's a, it's nice and thin enough to not bulk up your journals, but it's also robust enough to take some of that wet media and a lot of that, uh, you know, very juicy alcohol marker ink. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pretty happy with how these orange bra grab bags come out. Even though I wasn't completely happy with this spread, <laughs> I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with the stuff that's included in it. Uh, this is the girl uh, I, I made her on a tag ages ago with some Daniel Smith and like a very limited color palette. And I thought that drawing that I did in the corner of her in that big ball gown uh, kind of reminded me of this this piece in the pack. So obviously my subconscious did that for me, and I thought I'd put them together. And then I decided to take a color reference from her and uh, and kind of make them really uh, differently sized sisters. <laughs> uh, but they both got long necks and blue hair, so I guess, you know, cohesive. Uh, so yeah, those are the full planner girls, that, that weekly spread. The rest is just stuff for you to look at. I'm going to show you some, oh, here are the close-ups. I was going to say, I'm going to show you some of the close-ups and we're already here. Uh, this is the end of the video. Not super great stuff, but you know what? That's what the orange grab bags are for. They're for you. They're for your imagination to run wild. I've already played with all this stuff because, you know, there are already illustrations that I've already done. I'll print out a bunch and, uh, and I'll keep playing with them myself. You'll see stuff pop up on Instagram and, you know, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, head over to the Etsy if you want to grab an orange grab bag and make sure you share on social media what you come up with and I'd love to see it. And keep an eye out for that uh, golden birthday printable good grab bag collage sheet thing. <laughs> it's coming out soon. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching everyone. Bye. Easy living slipping out my back door.